Hearing devices are powered by a zinc air battery. The feature of this battery is that it has a film on its surface which covers holes in the battery housing. While these holes are covered with the film, the battery is disabled and can be stored in this way for three years. After removing the film from the battery, the air gets inside through the micro holes in the battery housing. The air is a catalyst on the chemical reaction of zinc oxidation. In the result of oxidation, electrical energy with the operational optimal voltage and current are produced. For the full reaction start some air is required, so after removing the protective film you should wait a minute before placing the battery into the hearing device. Zinc air batteries are produced by many companies. There is no fundamental difference between the batteries of different manufacturers. They all comply with international standards and are optimized as a battery of hearing devices. There are four types of the batteries which are different only in size. Number 13 is a battery for behind the ear hearing device. Number 675 is a battery for the behind the ear hearing device. Number 312 is for the in the ear hearing device. And number 10 is for the in the canal hearing device. Hearing devices differ in size starting from the big superpower behind the ear device to the smallest in the canal hearing devices. So the battery size complies with the size of the device. In its turn, the capacity of the battery depends on the size. Period of validity of the battery for a behind the ear device is about 3 weeks, then a week for an in the ear hearing device and about five days for the in the canal hearing devices. It should be noted that one has to remember to switch the device off for the night. If the device is not used for a long time, the battery needs to be taken off. It's strongly recommended not to use other type of batteries different from zinc air ones for the hearing devices.